Hello and welcome to Call of Duty Vanguard Multiplayer and we're going to go over the basics of it today. So first off I'm going to just show you what the menus are like and how that all works. So first off we have the quick play filter and you can go into three pacings, well four technically, tactical, assault, blitz, and hardcore. Hardcore is its own pacing, it'll have its own set of rules. And uh, tactical assault and blitz will basically just determine how many players will be on each map. With uh, tactical being the least and blitz being the most, so you can get it crazy. Next we have the operators. There are 12 you can choose from. You can see them all down here and you can also level them up to gain their own special skins and other stuff. And we have loadouts. This system is literally the same as uh, Modern Warfare 2019. It's just the same gunsmith system. And you do have to get your weapons up to level 70. It's a pain in the ass if you want to get all the camos and attachments, but there are a lot of them and they can each drastically change how the weapon is affected. So it is a really good system. It's just a pain getting it leveled up really high. You can see here all the different stuff you'll unlock. It's uh, pretty extensive. And then of course we also have the camos and charms. And the camos I really like because despite the fact that you have to get to level 70 for them all, they're still pretty easy to earn. And if you need to see which camo challenges you have left, you can also just go to the challenge section instead of looking through each of your camos. I just hit my desk, so that's what that sound was. Uh, next, we have kill streaks, and yes, they are kill streaks. They're not score streaks, so you have to get this many kills in one life to unlock them. And then we also have our field upgrades, which recharge over time. I'm sure you're used to that because it's been in both Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War. And then, of course, we have the watch and the armory. Watches aren't important, but the armory is where you'll get weapon variants, which can uh, be weapons that already have attachments on them. And they'll come with their own special yeah, camos fine. as well. We can the hard points. Now, we're already getting into the gameplay here. You're going to see some of what I'm doing in these uh, videos. I'm not super good at the game, as will be evident with this gameplay I'm showing you. But this is going to show you the basic gist of uh, how the multiplayer works. And uh, I'm gonna say right now, I am I I really love the multiplayer. It's my favorite multiplayer since COD World War II. And COD World War II is made also by Sledgehammer Games four years ago. And it's had my favorite multiplayer since Black Ops 2. So, you know, there's a couple time jumps there. And I think, I think this is probably going to be a really high, res highly respected multiplayer because it's really good. The maps are really well made and the gunplay is amazing. At least it's an improvement to Black Ops Cold War anyways. Black Ops Cold War was an embarrassment. Um, the multiplayer anyways, I love the zombies. And uh, it just sucks how some things are super good and others aren't. But, yeah, so the multiplayer, you've got, I think, like, 20 or so maps, which is amazing. The game just released with that many right off the bat. And obviously we're going to get more as the game lifespan progresses. Uh, but that's not going to be immediately, I don't think. So we also, um, I was going to say something, we also have a bunch of... Uh, bunch of game modes i think there's there's like eight right off the bat i think then there's one called champion hill that i actually haven't tried yet i think it's like a mini battle royale thing it's a 8v8 squad game mode each squad can have uh three or two players depending on which mode you choose and so that's a total of uh, eight teams of two or three against each other I'm not sure entirely how it works because I, I haven't played it yet because I haven't really cared to but that's a new interesting thing that they added in I don't think gunfight is in it despite the fact we had gunfight in both Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War um, and it seems like this system is kind of trying to mimic those but it didn't do that so 
We don't have that, which I don't mind. I don't care too much for gunfight either. No, what's crazy? And other than that, there's not really much to talk about. Um, it's just a really fun game, to be honest. Just the multiplayer specifically. I'm not going to say a whole lot about the campaign or the zombies in this video. And, uh, yeah, I think the uh, gameplay will speak for itself, especially if you guys ever decide to play it. I'm not going to try to convince you to buy the game. I will actually make a separate video based on whether or not it's worth buying later on. But for now, it's just this. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let some of the gameplay play out for you and kind of let you guys see how it looks. Hold your ground. 